Hey, Grade 8s. Here's what we're doing today. We're going to look at some ratios. So just a quick reminder, ratios relate how things uh, relate to each other. So they show us how things relate. So for example, here, if I've got some beads here, what you would end up saying is we could write this uh, ratio or this relationship a few different ways. If we wanted to relate the red to the blues, we could say we have one red for every two blues. That would be a true ratio. You could relate this from the part to the whole. So you might say I have one red out of three beads all together. So you could say one of the beads out of three is red. That would also be a true statement. Uh, the next thing we want to just make a mention of is that's what the ratio is. An equivalent ratio or two ratios that are equal. They're the same. So if the ratio has the same relationship as another ratio, we call it equivalent. So for example, this relationship of one red is two blue, it is actually equal to the relationship of two red to four blue. Okay, because in each of these cases here, you can see one red is just has two blue with it. So you can see that that's actually what we call equivalent ratio. Now, if we wanted to take this a step farther, we can actually write a number sentence that shows two equivalent ratios, and that's called a proportion. So if we ever mention a proportion, we're just writing a whole number sentence that shows two equivalent ratios. So in this case, one red to two blue is equal to, well, if you had two red to four blue. Now the cool thing with proportions is you should be able to see a multiplication or a division that holds true. So one times what gives me two? Well, one times two gives me two. Now if these are equivalent, I should see the same multiplication happening with the blues here. So that would be multiplying by two as well. Two times two gives me four. So if it's the same multiplication or, or same division, this would actually be a proportion. Okay. Just a reminder, we could have actually done this with one and write our equivalents, our, per, our ratios as a fraction. So we could write 1 over 2, and then I'm just going to put an equal sign here, is just 2 over 4. And you can see the exact same thing holds true. 1 times 2 gives us 2. And 2 times 2 gives us 4. So both of these are what we call proportions. They're just a number sentence showing us two equivalent ratios. Well, let's go try So we are moving now to Misa, who has a chat room buddies. And in her chat room, she has friends from Canada and the U.S., and she has them at a ratio of 30 to 20. Now this is something that's really important. I'm going to keep with my color coding here. So Canada is listed first. So in the ratio, she has 30 friends from Canada compared to, U.S. is listed second, to 20 friends in the U.S. So for every 30 Canadian friends she has, 20 American friends. Now, I'm going to keep with my color coding. It says she has 135 Canadian buddies. How many U.S. buddies it has? Well, you can see from our ratio, she has more Canadian buddies than U.S. buddies. So pretty clearly here, you're going to end up seeing that, yeah, I would expect her to have something less than 135 U.S. buddies. You know, might guess, oh, maybe it'd be about 110 or 100 or 90, somewhere in there. So we're expecting some sort of answer in there. So first thing that I want to do is I probably want to build equivalent ratio. 
Now, sometimes this works out so nicely. So, for example, if I do this equivalent ratio, I'm going to do it as a fraction. I could have done it with uh, a colon. But I'm going to just do 30 over 20. And I'm going to keep red as Canada, blue as U.S. Equals, well, in this case, I have 135 Canadian. So it's red. It has to go across from the red. So in this case, it goes on the top. Now, in this case, I'm going to put, I don't know how many U.S. buddies I have. So I'm going to use blue, and I'm just going to put a square. I can put an X, I can put anything I want, but I want to find that out. Now, here's the thing. If it's equivalent, there'll be a number that you can multiply that will help me solve this relationship. And you can see here, 30 times what gives me 135 it doesn't work out very nice because I know the multiples of 30 are 30, 60, 90, 120, 150. Not 135. It probably works as some sort of decimal, but it doesn't work out as a nice whole number. So I'm going to just show you something that we can do that might make life nice. There's other ways we could do this. But this is one way we could do it. Take your 30 over 20 and see if you can reduce it to simplest terms. So I'm going to write an equivalent ratio. Now when you're doing this, just like with a fraction, okay, you ask yourself what can you multiply or divide to make this as small as possible. So we're going to do dividing here. So what can I divide 30 and 20 by that will simplify this? And you can see both of them can be divided by 10. 30 divided by 10 is 3. 20 divided by 10 is Two, <clears throat> so I get three over two. Now, instead of setting up my original proportion, let's use the three over two. It's equivalent, it's the same, it's just simpler, and it might have an easier multiplication factor to help us finish this. So in this case, we're trying to figure out how many U.S. buddies there are if there is 135 Canadian buddies. Now, same kind of thing going on here. What times 3 gives us 135? Well, let's just quick try a couple here. Um, in this case, 3 times 40. You can see 3 times 40 is 120. So 3 times 45 would be 120 plus 15, which is 135. So I can actually see that this is 45. So I'm going to do the same thing because this is a proportion. 2 times 45 ends up giving me, I know that this box then is 90. So therefore I have 90... U.S. buddies solve this. This isn't the only way to solve this problem, but this is one way you can do it. First thing we did was we reduced the fraction. The second thing we ended up doing was use that nice reduced fraction, that nice reduced ratio to help us solve this question. So I hope that helps. We'll see if you can get going now. Thank you.